Well, she's all hooked up, so let's spread some fertilizer. Well, it's fertilizer day. So basically what I've done is I came down to the co-op here, which is the Battle Creek Farm Bureau, and we looked at my soil test analysis, which I do every year, and uh, we got determined how much material I need to put on each acre, which is MAP, uh, potassium, that's the potash, and I'm not actually putting any urea down, which is nitrogen uh, for the first cut. I'll do that after my second cut of hay. And uh, there's also some um, ammonium sulfate going down. There's a little bit of nitrogen in the ammonium sulfate, and there's a little bit of nitrogen in the, uh, it's either the, I think it's the map. So I just drove around and hooked up to my buggy behind me. And now I am sitting at the uh, mixer. And what they're doing inside is He's got a little loader in there and he's dumping in each of the components in my fertilizer based on how many I need for uh, per acre. And I'm doing 12 acres today. And that's going to come out up that little elevator there and it's going to go into the back of my spread. got my wagon full so now I need to pull around back to the scale and they're gonna weigh me now I had to weigh in first with with my empty truck and trailer that's the tear weight and so now I'm gonna pull back on the scale hop out of the truck they're gonna see how much I weigh now and that's how they're going to determine what I need to pay for pulling up on the scale now. I'm gonna hop out. We got the fertilizer all loaded and I'm officially a legit farmer now because I got this Pioneer hat at the Farm Bureau. They gave it to me and they also gave me this nice little water gauge. If my dad were around I could never wear this Pioneer hat in front of him because he worked in the seed business his entire life and uh, we were trained to really not like Pioneer Seed Corn Company. Sorry to any of those of you out there who work for it or maybe plant it. But that's a digression. Let's take a look at this fertilizer analysis and see what I paid for. We got some ammonium sulfate on there. We got some MAP bulk, which is the uh, phosphorus. And we got some potash bulk, which is potassium. And then the spreader rent, it cost me 19 bucks for that spreader. And uh, that was basically it. No urea today, which is the nitrogen, because I'm going to put the nitrogen on after first cutting. And I'll probably do that about 80 pounds an acre. So let's look at the damage. Yoinks. 1100 bucks. I have uh, 4,620 pounds of fertilizer back there. Let's talk about this number. This is the density. Keep this number in mind. We're going to have to remember the density and the pounds per acre because we're going to set the fertilizer spreader so it can uh, spit out 350 pounds per acre. Guys, can I make a little rant real quick? If you want to grow hay, you've got to fertilize. The grass is using nutrients from the ground. It's not just made of nothing. And every time uh, you're growing a crop, a grass crop, you are mining those nutrients from the ground. You have to put the fertilizer back in uh, to replace what you're taking out in order to have good yields every year. Otherwise, you're going to 
whittle away that ground's nutrition to nothing and your hay isn't going to produce crap uh, in pretty good time. So fertilizer can, yeah, it, it sucks to pay for. It costs about 100 bucks an acre. And on top of that, you need to have a good healthy soil pH, about 6.3 uh, is considered a neutral soil pH. Um, and you need that in order for the root to be able to efficiently take up and utilize the nutrients you're adding to the ground. If you're adding fertilizer to the soil and the soil isn't the correct pH, then the root is very inefficient at uh, extracting those nutrients from the soil. And they are not, they have a low bioavailability to the root if the pH is not right. So get your pH good and be sure to fertilize every year. We've walked around to the back of the spreader here and there's a table on it. And this is where that density in pounds per acre comes in play. So the first thing we want to look at is this right here. So our spreader is set to low range already. And then this is your density right here. Follow this over to 67. So we want to be in this column. And then we want to do about 350 pounds an acre is what we're going to put on. And so this number right there, that's 346. So if you follow that over, it says four and a half inches is what our gate opening needs to be at. So then you come over here and that is our gate opening. And right now it's set to just about four. So that means I got to unscrew this thing here. And then lift it up until it's right about four and a half inches. And then I just tighten this down. We've got two beaters on the back. Those are gonna spread the fertilizer out. And there is a ground driven chain on the bottom that feeds it to the beaters. This right here is the activation lever that activates the ground driven um, apron on the bottom. I'll just pull this out and pop this up to there and if we look inside we got a lot of fertilizer in there about a little over two ton well she's all hooked up so let's spread some fertilizer this is the field we're doing behind me and I'm going to go over to that end and this spreader throws a 40 foot pattern. So I'm gonna drive down and it's throwing 20 feet out to each side of me. So when I do my turn at the end, I don't want my fertilizer to overlap. This is just gonna make one pass. I don't have to go back over it. So I'm gonna make a turn that's about a 40 foot, I'm gonna make a 40 foot turn. And then I point the nose of my tractor at something straight ahead of me and I just keep the center line of the tractor lined up with that and it keeps me going on a straight line back and forth across the field. Finally, the other thing is it's supposed to rain in the next few days, so hopefully it does. You should always put your fertilizer down right before rain, otherwise you lose your nitrogen to volatilization. So they say you want about a quarter inch of a good rain and the day or two after you fertilize and that helps dissolve the nitrogen get it in the ground dissolve the other nutrients and get them in the ground too all right i'm gonna hop on the tractor set up a few action shots of this fertilizer going and hopefully this has been enjoyable to you by the way i decided i'm actually going to have an official youtube channel and you guys could hate it or think it's terrible so if you like it if you could leave me a comment that'd be great and even more so if you hate it, leave a comment too and tell me what sucks about it or why I suck or leave suggestions about what you do that works for you or what I could do that could be better. And I feel so dirty to say it, but I'm supposed to ask you to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. I feel gross for saying that. Let's get rolling.
We got her all done. My turns, I should have had about 13 steps from the center of each turn to the next one, or basically my rows up and down the field, and I did, so that's 40 feet, 13 steps. And I went down the street and did the other seven acre field down there, and just about, well, I was pretty much out when I finished that field. So I would say I ended up doing pretty well on getting my spacing just right and uh, getting an even amount of fertilizer distributed over everything. So hopefully this was remotely interesting to some of you watching the process of the fertilizer going down. Hopefully, maybe learn something. I'm gonna keep trying to make interesting and fun videos. Hopefully some other ones have a little more action shots than this one. It was really hard to stay on my mark with the fertilizer and run the camera at the same time so I I just focus on what I was doing but I'm gonna throw some other videos up in the future on uh, getting ready to I'll probably do some mowing videos since people love to watch mowing but then I'll do some videos of setting up my tether setting up the rake and setting up the baler and uh, showing you all the process we go through to do that if you like this again leave me some comments and tell me what you liked or what you don't like uh, feel free to Give me some suggestions or what works well for you. Uh, like it if you liked it and subscribe.